It wasn't obvious what went wrong. I began as the ideal daughter from a good Christian home. But that winter, I started to break. And by summer, I was unrecognizable. Things just changed. I changed. Slipping farther and further away from myself, my faith. And at first, there was only the daily sensation that I didn't belong. But then came the dissociation, suddenly a thousand miles away from my own hands, and it hurt to see my life drift away with no hope to stop it. The deeper I fell down that black pit, into the black doubts, the more painful it was to pretend, the harder it was to interact with people on the surface, alone in my resentment. And the lower I slipped beneath the ground, the more bitter I became, the more convinced I was that everyone wore a mask too. Fake happiness. So I'd wander the night, not caring if I lost myself, if I got lost. I'd walk the coast, walk the emptied city streets, circling back through the same empty parks. I spent all those sleepless nights cold, feverish, and alone. Staying up for days, chasing a high that can never satisfy. My life a blur that only left me numb. Each day brought new compromises till I was spent and hopeless. And I'd scream into the pillow till my throat would shred, wondering whether I'd ever know again what it felt like to be happy. This is so dark. And in my head, my perfect parents are horrified, pitying me doubting my worth again. That's why they'll never see this. Why no one will ever see this. Because they can never know that I'm none of these things I wear to family dinners. And I'm none of the labels they hung up on me, strung on me. Strung me up and sent me out into the world with nothing but shame. Ashamed to be the weakest daughter. They see my life stalling, but they can never know why. How can a Christian hate themselves this much? Am I still in grace? I had to have been good once, but maybe I was just naive. I found my way out of this. Four years, but I'm out now. And it's not because I lied for so long that I started to believe. It took a lot to climb out and a lot of things to stay out. But the best thing I ever did was write this all down and finally talk even when the sickness told me I'd only hurt more in opening up. That, I'm building back a faith. Not a blind faith, nor a childlike faith, but fighting myself back to faith, proving to myself that any option besides Christ would lead me right back to where I'd fell. Only He could free me from the numbness and the addiction and the loss of my babies. So it's all real now. I'm real and the scars fade, you break through.